Xin chào, welcome to Pilates with Henna and welcome to today 16 of the 28 day social distancing Pilates challenge. Today I want to share with you a Pilates workout to help you strengthen and tone your arms, your whole arms and also strengthen your back to make it look real sexy. So if you're ready, just draw your mat and let's begin. Alright, now let's start by allow yourself to sit tall with your back in neutral, pull the belly button in, chest open and shoulders down. We're going to warm up a little bit before we start the workout. So I'm going to inhale and start to rotate your head around your neck. Inhale halfway and exhale halfway. And five more times with your own breath. Now do it slowly and do it with your own speed. Inhale and exhale. And four, belly button in. Very good. Keep breathing. Three. Lengthen your spine still slightly and go your core to support your lower back too. Go to all four directions. And last one. And reverse. Inhale and exhale. And four. Belly button in. Three. Try to go a little bit slower to really feel your neck is stretching too. And last one and slowly bring it back to the center. Now rotate your shoulders fully to four directions. And five, four, three, two, and one, and reverse. Lengthen your spine still, and five, four, three, two, and one. Now open your arm to the side and inhale, lean on one side to the side bending. Like so, bring it back, inhale to your opposite side, and exhale, come back to the center, inhale. And exhale, belly button in to the other side. We're going to do four more times each side here with your own breath. So keep breathing to the other side. And three. Two. And last one. Slightly engage your core, lengthen your waist. Come back to the other side and slowly bring it back to the center. Now soften your elbows here and I wanted to bring your arm towards the front and then open your shoulders, your chest all the way towards the back. So to keep your torso lengthening here and five, four belly button in, three, very good, two, and last one. And slowly bring your hands down, rotate your shoulders one more time and then reverse. Rotate your wrist and reverse and slowly bring your hands down on your knees now let's start for the main workout here so open your arms to the side shoulders down and i want you to inhale try to reach your hands further without moving your arms but you still feel your whole arms stretching and also feel the gravity on your arms here so keep your arms parallel to the floor inhale and exhale and five deep breath inhale and exhale four and three, lengthen your spine. You can open your knees, bend your knees if it's easier for you. Two, lengthen your back in the same movement. And last one. And slowly bring your hands down, rotate your shoulders and then reverse. All right, now the next movement, just open your arm to the side again and start to make a little pulse here. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 8, 6, 5, 4, Three, keep breathing, two, and last one. And now lift your arms up and slowly bring it down and up and down 10 times with your own breath. So keep breathing, and nine, eight. Lengthen your arms, lengthen and straighten your wrist. Six, and five, lengthen your spine. You can always sit on a pillow if it's easier for you to lengthen your spine here. And two, and last one, inhale. And exhale slowly. Keep your arms parallel to the floor and don't bring your arms down. Just keep it here. And I'm going to inhale, start to rotate your palms facing up and then down again. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Belly button in 3, 2, and last one. Now I'm going to do it one more time here. Just rotate, but this time I'll do a little bit slower. So inhale. And exhale and try to reach your hands towards the side. Really lengthen your arms here. And nine, keep breathing. Eight, 
Very good. Seven. Keep your fingers close towards each other. And five. Four. Straighten your wrist. Don't overextend it. Two. And last one. And slowly bring your hands down. Rotate your shoulders fully into four directions again. And then reverse. I feel you already feel really warm on your arms here. And your back is already lengthening a little bit. All right. So now I want you to move to the next movement. Bring your arms up to the side again. Shoulders down and soften your elbows. So still keep your palms facing down to the mat and stretch in your wrist here. And bring your elbows towards the body and then lengthen. And then towards the body and lengthen so 10 times here with your own breath try to reach your hand a little bit further now still keep lengthening your spine and sit tall so that way we work the core we work the back and we strengthen the back at the same time beautiful and seven keep breathing engage your core as much as possible and use the breath to control the movement here and five inhale and exhale bend and lengthen inhale and exhale bend and three two shoulders far away from your ears and last one and slowly bring your hands down make sure you don't make any tension on your shoulders here so inhale start to rotate your neck a little bit and then reverse and then slowly back to the center now the next movement just bring your arm to the side again and now inhale start to bring one arm to the front and then to the other side and then open and come back so this time I want you to really try to open your chest all the way towards the back when you move your arm towards the side very good keep breathing we're gonna try to do it for 10 times now bring your arm to the front and to the other side and open and come back so every time you bring your arm to the side try to open your chest really towards the back so you're gonna feel your whole arms working here Keep your arms parallel to the floor and stabilize with your sitting bones, your hips, your whole torso here. So if you want to make it more stabilized, just open your legs and press your feet down. It's going to help a lot. So keep breathing. Inhale. And exhale. And lengthen your spine. Belly button in. And six. Five. Four. Belly button all the way towards the spine and still shoulders far away from your ears. And two more times, stay with your own breath. And last one. Very good. And slowly bring your hands down. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse. Now the next movement, just bring your arm to the side again. And I want to inhale, start to flex your fingers up towards the ceiling and then down towards the mat. So 10, 9, keep breathing. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, very good. 2, and last one and slowly bring your hands down again now this time bring one arm towards the front and one arm towards the back now inhale and start to move your arms to the other side so 10 try to stabilize your torso here only your arms are moving nine keep breathing very good eight go a little bit slower to control seven so your chest your whole torso is still facing towards the front and five very good Four belly button all the way in. Three. Keep breathing. And two. And last one. And slowly bring it back to the center and arms down. Rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse. Now articulate your spine. Look towards the front cat and cone sitting position. And then round your spine to your chest. Now this one going to help to strengthen your back a lot. So keep breathing. Pull the belly button in towards the spine and then round your spine each vertebra at a time. We do it really slowly here. So inhale and exhale. Round your spine. Each vertebra at a time. If you can squeeze in the thighs at the same time. So just work a little bit more on other parts but really focus on the core here and pull the belly button in make sure that your lower back has support so keep breathing in five four very good three inhale and exhale two and last one articulate your spine and round your spine and slowly lengthen again and now i wanted to articulate the spine again but this time hold it here for five Four, three, two, and one. Round your spine. Each vertebra at a time. Hold it here for five, four, three, 
two and one come back all right now lengthen your spine lengthen your arm to the side again and reach your hand to one side start to make a little pose with your arms here so ten nine eight seven six five four three two one come back to your opposite side and ten nine eight seven six five four keep your arms parallel to the floor and slowly back to the center so rotate the torso to one side flex forward and then come back engage your core to your opposite side flex forward and bring it back i'm going to do it for 10 times here with your own breath to your opposite side keep your arms parallel to the floor pull the belly button in exhale flex inhale come back and nine keep breathing slowly it exhale to the other side and seven you can always sit along the mat if it's easier for you and bend your knees open your legs a bit apart here so reach and come back engage your core as much as possible to support and strengthen your lower back here squeeze in the thighs if you can it's just optional because we focus on the arms and the back today so keep breathing and four belly button in three exhale reach inhale come back keep your arms up two very good and reach straighten your wrist and last one to your opposite side and slowly bring it back to the center and hands down rotate your shoulders one more time and reverse all right now the next movement i wanted to put your hands behind your hips so close your elbow towards the back put your shoulders far away from your ears now i wanted to walk your hand further away just a little bit just shoulder on top of your wrist here and soften your elbows here chest open lengthen your spine so we don't arch your back we don't roll your spine just keep lengthening your spine and keep your back your lower back in the middle here now inhale now i wanted to engage your core close your elbow to the back and then open and close so don't have to open so far just little movement but it's gonna work a lot so shoulder far away from your ears look towards the front we don't pull your chin up to the ceiling because it's gonna cause a lot of pressure on your neck and we don't want that so i'm gonna do it for five four three two very good and last one and that gonna help you to recognize the position of your elbow where it should be so just close your elbows in and just move it towards the back soften your elbows here look towards the front and bend your elbows as low as you can and press your hands down to lengthen your arms here Good. we're going to do it for 10 times with your own breath so always close your elbows towards the front inhale go a little bit further if you can pull the belly button in and exhale lengthen really feel your arms crazy warming up here really burning here actually all right and nine keep breathing go a little bit further and then put your hands down your palms down to lengthen your arms up it and exhale lengthen seven i love this movement and lift it all the way up so just do it with your own speed six don't have to be so quick the lower we do the more challenging it is so just try your best challenge yourself it's a challenging day and the lengthen beautiful i'm going to do it for four more times with your own breath hold it here elbows always close and shoulder push down towards the hips always keep the shoulders far away from your ears two more times inhale slowly wow it's so slow but then it works so well i love it so much last one hold it here chest up belly button in and start to go a little bit further as wide as much as you can if you can put your whole forearm down to the mat that's amazing okay so put your shoulders far away from your ears here and i wanted to engage your core here press your foot down lift your hips up so you're going to feel that your shoulders your whole arms are working and start to make a little pulls with your hips so 10 9 8 7 6 pressure for arm down shoulder on top of your elbows feel your arms working here and 3 2 1 and slowly bring your hips down so now this time move your feet away shoulders far away from your ears now i wanted to arch your back pull the belly button in and really arch your back here look towards the front chin to chest and then roll your spine each vertebra at a time we're going to try to do it for 10 times with your own breath do it slowly and strengthen your back in this movement so articulate your spine look towards the front pull the belly button in to support your lower back now roll your spine each vertebra at a time we're going to try to do it for a couple more times here with your own breath and roll your spine 
and four inhale always keep your chin to the chest look towards the front and put your shoulders down far away from your ears three very good two inhale and exhale don't have to move so much just so really listen to your body here and last one go as far as you can and round as much as you can but really listen to your low back as long as you're comfortable with that all right and then lengthen your legs put your hands up and flex forward shake your hips inhale deeply through your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right now bend your knees here hands under your thighs and round your spine chin your chest walk your hand towards the back here engage your core as much as possible so shoulders far away from your ears and then articulate your spine chest open look towards the front and then round your spine again. You're gonna do it for 10 times with your own breath. And this one will help you to strengthen your core and the core is quite important to help to support your back too. So it's really important to strengthen your, and help you to strengthen your back here. Very good, keep breathing, open your chest. Beautiful, we're gonna do it for seven more times with your own breath. And articulate your spine open. And then come back around your spine here. And six, so keep breathing and come back around your spine. Four, belly button in, articulate your spine. And three, squeeze your thigh, press your feet down. Go a little bit further if you can really do it with your own speed and really pull the belly button in. Use your core to control the movement. Use your breath, don't hold your breath here. Last one. And round and slowly bring it back to the center. Shake your hips, inhale deeply through your nose, hug your knees to your chest and exhale deeply through your mouth. And that's the first part of the workout today. So if you done for the day, just go all the way towards the end of the video to do the stretching part. Otherwise, just continue it and join me for the second part in a few seconds. Now let's start with the second part here. So open your legs a bit apart, bend your knees here, lengthen your spine. And I wanted to bring your arm to the side, soften your elbows here, bring your arm towards the front and open all the way to the back and front and back. So 10, keep breathing, nine, inhale, and exhale, come back, eight, seven, belly button in, six, five, four, shoulders far away from your ears, three, lengthen your neck, two, and last one. Now lengthen your arm towards the front and open your arm towards the back and then bring it back again. So the previous movement you soften our elbows but now I want you to really lengthen your arms here. So keep breathing, inhale and exhale, palms facing down. And nine, eight, seven, six, five, squeezing the thighs, just an optional again, two, and last one. Now I wanted to inhale and open your arms to the side, palms facing towards the front here. And I wanted to inhale, lengthen your arms, reach as far as you can, and then bend your elbows, bring it back towards the center. So 10 times with your own breath and engage your core as much as possible. So 10, keep breathing, nine, lengthen your spine, sit on a pillow if it's help to lengthen your spine. So keep breathing, five, Reach a little bit further if you can, and four, inhale, and exhale, lengthen, three, straighten your wrist, two, and last one. And now reach it further away, bring it towards the front, and then lift it up, and open to the front, and lift, and open, 10 times with your own breath. So keep breathing, and nine, still lengthen your spine, eight, seven, engage your core, six, five, four, three, very good, two, and last one. And slowly bring your hands down, rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse. All right, now I wanted to allow yourself to bring your hand towards the back here and open your elbows wider. Now keep your upper arm parallel to the floor. So open wider and then bring it back. And 10, keep breathing, nine, Eight, seven, engage your core, lengthen your spine still. Five, open your legs with the part if it's easier for you. Six, I mean three, keep breathing, two. And last one, open, and then come back, hands down, rotate your shoulders fully to four directions, and then reverse. Inhale deeply to your nose, 
exhale deeply through your mouth and lengthen your arm to the side again and then this time just try to make a larger circle like pumping your arms but make a larger circle so it's feel like we're flying so keep breathing and 10 go a little bit further if you can to really feel your whole arms working here nine eight seven six five very good keep breathing four use your whole arms not just your wrist so feel it's really precise and confirm and strong movement here beautiful two and last one and slowly bring your hands down rotate your shoulders fully to four directions and then reverse inhale deep into your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth and when you're ready the next movement just sit along the mat one more time now I want you to open your legs a bit apart here hands behind your hips close your elbow to the back and inhale chin to chest look towards the front and lift your hips as high as you can so shoulders on top of your wrist here soften your elbow to have it less pressure on your wrist so keep breathing inhale now if you want always make it easier by put your whole forearms down to the mat and lift your hips up and down 10 times with your own breath so again inhale close your elbow to the back lift and down 10 9 try not to bring your hips all the way down really just leave it above the mat here and then go all the way up again shoulders far away from your ears chin to chest seven belly button in six keep breathing and five four shoulders down three and on top of your wrist all the time two belly button in squeezing the thighs and last one slowly bring your hips down shake your hips in your deeply to your nose and exhale deeply through your mouth all right and when you're ready just put your forearms down to the mat shoulders far away from your ears again and this time bend your knees here so press your feet down lift your hips up engage your core put your shoulders down far away from your ears and now i wanted to inhale now start to move your forearm towards the front engage your core and move your legs towards the front again and then come back so if you want to make it easier just put your feet down and then um start to bring your feet towards the front and move each arm towards the front and then come back with them moving your hips if you want to make it really challenge so engage your core lift your hips up and move and then come back and then move forward and then come back five more times with your own breath so keep breathing bring it back to the center pull the belly button in two and bring it back and last one and slowly bring your hips down hug your knees to your chest inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth come to own four position so again forearms down to the mat and i want you to engage your core here shoulders far away from your ears put your whole fan palms down to the mat here shoulders on top of your elbows knee hips on top of your knees touch your feet now inhale lift your knees up engage your core and start to move forward a little bit and then come back so we're gonna try to do it for 10 times with your own breath keep breathing if you want to make it more challenge lengthen your arms eyes and elbow rotate to face each other shoulders far away from your ears and move forward and then come back but really listen to your wrist here so forearms down engage your core easy version move forward and then come back in nine keep breathing eight seven belly button in don't have to go so far listen to your body even just a little bit tiny moving forward movement is still count beautiful and five four three very good two belly button all the way in and last one lift and slowly bring it back try pulse shake your hips inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply to your mouth very good and slowly come back shake your hips inhale and exhale all right and when you're ready i wanted to come to on four position again and now this time just imagining you have two eyes on the elbows rotate to face each other put your shoulders far away from your ears now inhale slowly move your knee further away so you can come to on to a full plank here first and then bend your knees down now from here just bend your knees and then bring your whole torso down hold it here for five four three shoulders far away from your ears two and last one slowly left 
get your whole body down to the mat. You deserve that. All right. Now I wanted to again do a more challenging version here with the full plank. So inhale, hold it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Shoulders on top of your wrist. 4, 3, 2, and 1. And bend your knees. Bend your elbows, I mean. So lengthen your spine, lengthen your neck, look down to the mat. Hold it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Keep it on. Almost done. 3, 2, and one slowly rest your body on the mat here. Inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth. Very good, guys. That's amazing. All right. Now, the next movement, I wanted to slowly put your forearms down to the mat, shoulders on top of your body, and really engage your core here. Now, if you are a beginner, just put your whole torso up and lengthen your spine. Try to go as far as you can. Lengthen your neck and look down to the mat here, and then bring it down and lift and down. So, again, feel the equal weight keep on your whole forearm here not just your hand or not just your elbow try to press the whole forearms down to the mat if you're more if you feel that you can do it with a more challenging version just lengthen your leg engage your core and make sure you don't arch your back here really lengthen your spine lift your hips up and lift your whole body up and then down so lift and down and 10 keep breathing nine easy version eight seven six and five, four belly button in, three and two, lengthen your neck, and last one slowly, bring it down, shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose, rotate your wrist a little bit if you need to, exhale deeply through your mouth, one more deep breath, and exhale, very good, now the next movement, I wanted to lean on one side, and forearm down to the mat, so your top leg to the front, your bottom leg to the back, engage your core shoulder on top of your elbow here, now, bring your hand behind your head here, and I want to inhale, lift your hips up. So, you can feel, just move and play, just move your arms here to the point that you feel like it's not only go, all the um, pressure is on your elbow. Just go like, press your whole forearm down to the mat for make it, to make it easier. You can always press your hand on the other hand to make it more supporting otherwise just really put your hand behind your head here and now start to engage your core start to move your shoulders just move forward and then backward and 10 keep breathing hold forearm down to the mat nine eight belly button in seven six i need more support here five four very good keep breathing three two and last one slowly bring your hips down Inhale deeply to your nose, exhale deeply through your mouth. Beautiful, go to the other side to do side lift on the other side. So again, so hand behind your head, the top leg to the front, the bottom leg to the back, shoulders on top of your elbow, engage your core. And now again, we're gonna lift your hips up as high as you can, pull the belly button in, really strengthen your whole core and your back here. And then move forward and then come back. So keep breathing, 10, nine, eight seven belly button in six feel your whole arms are shaking here five four keep your whole forearm down to the mat here three two and last one slowly bring your hips down rotate your wrist i always feel like it's easier on this side i don't know why inhale deeply to your nose and exhale deeply to your mouth all right now bring your arm to the side soften your elbows here and i start to reach and try to lengthen your arms all the way towards the side. You have to reach and stretch and, and really burn. Like feel your arms are working here with all the gravity on your arms. Now you can always, if you have a water, a bottle of water, you can always use it like a wet. But if you don't, then you don't, don't really have to like mind with that. Because I don't really use any weight for myself anyway. So inhale, lift and reach. And now bend your elbows towards the body. Now lengthen, inhale and exhale and 10 keep breathing come back nine and bend and lengthen and five four try to reach as far as you can two very good and last one lengthen and i wanted to slowly inhale just do one more challenging before the cool down part here so try your best here just lengthen sit along the mat and now bring your hands behind your hips, close your elbow towards the back. Now engage your core. And I want you to lean backward. 
So shoulders far away from your ears. Press your feet down. Lift your hips up. Soften your elbows. And hold it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bring it down just one more time. And this time, just make it really, really challenging. But you can lift your leg up and then to the other side here. So engage your core. And let's do it together. And so 10, 9. Keep breathing. Soften your elbows. Look towards the front. Really pull the belly button in. And 5, 4. Three, two, and last one, slowly bring it down. Hug your knees to your chest, inhale deep into your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Rotate your wrist. And reverse. All right, and I wanted to move your body towards the front. I wanted to slowly allow yourself to lie all the way down on your back here. So arms along your body, Press your feet down, open your legs a bit apart. I'm going to tuck the tailbone forward, draw your hips all the way up. Squeeze in your thighs, pull the belly button in. Don't have to go so far and slowly bring it back. And nine, keep breathing, press your feet down. Eight. Seven. And six. Five. Four. Very good. Three. And two. Now last one, lift and slowly bring your hips down, lift your legs up to 90 degree and then start to dorsiflex with your feet and then plantar flex and dorsiflex and at the same time I wanted to just rotate your wrist here. Keep breathing, very good and reverse. Interlace your fingers and start to rotate again. And reverse. Okay, and start to rotate your ankle. And reverse. Good. And now reach your arms up, which and down and ten. Keep breathing. Lengthen your arms. Nine. Put your feet down if you want. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Lift. And now slowly bring your hands down. Open your knees wider. Keep your feet together. Start to make a little pose here. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And hug your knees to your chest. Straight your hips. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. Start to bring your legs to one side and then to your opposite side. So inhale and exhale. And 3, 2, and last one, and slowly bring it back to the center. Very good. Now I wanted to inhale and start to press your hip, hip, hip bones down to the mat and start to bring your head to one side. Try to reach your hand towards your heels and look up to the ceiling. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to your opposite side. Look up to the ceiling. Hold it here for five, four, three, two, and one, back to the center. Open your arm to the side, try to reach a little bit higher as much as you can to really stretch your arms here. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, lengthen your wrist, your wrist, 2, and 1, slowly come back. All right, and now I wanted to allow yourself to bend your elbows to 90 degree here and try to inhale, slide your hands all the way over your head, reach, and then come back, and then reach, and bring it back. And three, two, reach as far as you can and bend your elbows again to the side. And last one. And then slowly bring your elbows all the way towards your body here and bend your elbows to 90 degrees still. So lengthen your wrist here. And I wanted to engage your core, start to bring your hands up and then down. And three, two, do it slowly with your own breath. And last one. And now slowly lengthen your hands, your arms here, reach your hand towards the heels. Try to lengthen here and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Keep breathing. 3, 2, and 1. Slowly lean on one side when you're ready to sit up. Okay? And now I want you to allow yourself to bring your head to one side. Press your opposite shoulders down to the mat to really feel the side of your neck is stretching to your opposite side. 
and slowly bring it back to the center. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. And that's the work out today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you are new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the bell to see notifications every day when I upload a new video. And I'll see you tomorrow for day 17. Bye.